What's up, peers, and welcome to the World Crypto Network, here for a reading of the absolutely phenomenal Bitcoin Optech newsletter. Again, thank you so much for the amazing group here working on this phenomenal depth of information and providing these resources for the layman such as me. So thank you very much. And today, newsletter number seven, August 7, 2018. This week's newsletter includes the usual dashboard and action items, a link to discussion about generalized Bitcoin contracts over Lightning Network, a brief description of a recently announced library for scalability enhancing BLS signature, and some notable commits from the Bitcoin Core, LD, and C Lightning projects. Action items. Optech has begun planning its first European workshop, which is set to take place in Paris sometime in November. If any member companies who think they'll be able to attend have topics they're interested in discussing, please email Optech. More information on the workshops will be released in, f in a few weeks. Dashboard items. Transaction fees remain very low. Anyone who can wait 10 or more blocks for confirmation can reasonably pay the default minimum fee rate. It's a good time to consolidate UTXO. When is it ever not a good time to consolidate UTXOs? <laughs> Ad addition of opt-in replaced by fee remains fairly low, but has materially grown over the past year, increasing from 1.5% to 5.7% of transactions. This data was sourced from Optech's beta dashboard, which we encourage people to try out and provide us feedback. And here we see the transaction signaling of opt-in replaced by free from August 2017 till August 2018. And the source is the very, very, uh, yeah, the very good Optech dashboard. News. Discussion of arbitrary contracts over Lightning Network a threat on the Lightning Network development mailing list, described the basic principles of performing arbitrary Bitcoin contracts in a payment channel. Instead of an independent contract that resolves to true in order to be valid, to be a valid transaction, the exact same concept is included in a Lightning Network payment and must return true in order for the in-channel payment transaction to be valid. Everything else in the arbitrary contract, as well as the Lightning Network payment, can stay the same, with some specific exceptions discussed in this thread, started by knowledgeable pseudonymous researcher CMNSZPXJ. Really good guy. Uh, or girl. <laughs> oh, clicked on it. Library announcing for BLS signature. Well-known developer Bram Cohen announced a first draft but fully functional library for doing BLS signature. And that is Boney, Lion, Sh Shacham, the three researchers that developed the signature scheme. Based on the construction, based on music, these signatures provide most of the same benefits of Schnorr signatures as described in newsletter three and features news, but also allow non-interactive signature aggregation, which can allow for greater scalability by reducing the amount of signature data in the blockchain, possibly by a very large percentage and potentially enhancing private privacy by implementing techniques for non-interactive coin joints, such as those described in the Mimblewimble white paper. BLS signature do come with three downsides that have led most Bitcoin protocol developers to focus on Schnorr signatures for the short term. The first is that there is no known way of verifying them as fast as Schnorr signatures. 
and signature verification speed is also important for network scalability. Second, to prove that BLS signature are secure requirements making an additional assumption about part of the scheme behind being secure that is not required for proving the security of Bitcoin's current scheme, which is ECDSA, or the proposed Schnorr-based scheme. And finally, BLS signature have only been around for about half as long as Schnorr signatures are even less commonly used and are not believed to have received the same amount of expert review as Schnorr signatures. Still, this open source library gives developers a convenient way to begin experimenting with BLS signatures and even start to use them in applications that don't need to be as secure as the Bitcoin network. Notable commits. These commits, uh, notable commits this week in Bitcoin Core, LND, and C Lightning. The Bitcoin Core commit. Um, and this pull request by Peter Woolley, mentioned in Newsletter 5, is an, op is an output script descriptor supporting the upcoming version 0.17 RPC scan transaction outset has been merged. These descriptors provide a comprehensive way of describing to software what output script you want to find. And it's expected to be adapted over time to other parts of the Bitcoin Core API, such as import private key, import address, import public key, import multi, and import wallet. Bitcoin Core uh, commit pri or merge. Prior to the first Optech newsletter, a pull request was merged that deliberately caused Bitcoin Core to abort setup in the config file or start up parameters containing an option Bitcoin Core did not recognize. This greatly simplified debugging of command errors, such as typos. But it also prevented users from putting options in their Bitcoin config file that applied to clients, such as Bitcoin CLI. And this new PR removes the startup abort and simply produces a warning Probably for a future release, a mechanism for client compatibility will be implemented and the startup will be, uh, will be restored. A commit for L&D. This updates the primary backend interface such as Bitcoin D, BTC D and Neutrino SPV to be compatible with the latest and hopefully final version of BIP-158 compact block filters. That's the Neutrino client. As implemented in the BTCD full node, the BTC wallet, and the Neutrino lightweight wallet. These filters allow clients to determine whether or not a block probably contains a transaction that affect their wallet. Similar to BIP-37, Bloom filters, but much more efficiently to the server, as they don't need to rescan old blocks, and with additional privacy for the clients, as they don't directly give the server any information of what transaction they're interested in. Another LND commit or merge. This pull request continues work towards creating a Lightning Network watchtowers that can assist light clients and other programs that are not online by monitoring for attempted channel theft and broadcasting the user's pre-signed breach remedy transaction. This particular pull request adds Watchtower version 0 encoding and encryption methods by cryptographer Connor Fromknecht. And we also have a C Lightning commit or merge. The C Lightning refu refuses to forward payments when the forwarding fee exceeds a certain percentage of the payment. However, when the amount being forwarded is tiny, for example, buying just a few pixels for 10 Satoshis each on Satoshi's place, 
This, this rule was always triggered because the minimum fee floor was always a high percentage. For example, paying 10 nano bitcoins, which with a mini minimum fee of 10 nano bitcoins is 100% fee. This pull request provides a new rule that allows payments with forwarding fees up to 50 nano bitcoin to go through regardless of their fee percentage and adds an option so that users can customize that value. Peers, please subscribe to the Bitcoin Optech newsletter as you realize now having gone through uh, the first seven, if you count version zero, then the first eight Bitcoin Optech newsletter, this is a true wealth of information and absolutely worth accumulating and understanding. And I hope that this read it guide to this amazing, amazing resource uh, has provided you in understanding some of these very dense, but still, in my opinion, approachable informations. Yes, this is a lot of information. It is worth re-watching and re-reading these and asking questions. Be active in the community and try to understand it. Don't give up just because it seems so complicated uh, because, well, the truth is always simple. So, Piers, thank you again for joining me and see you here on the next show to continue reading the awesome Bitcoin Optech newsletter. Thank you very much and see you on the next show. Bye-bye.